I'm Andrew Daly, I'm the Managing Director of Digital Procurement and Supply Chain at Special Features Every Daily, and today I'm delighted to welcome Bob Booth, uh, something of a legend in the world of consulting. Welcome, Bob. Thank you very much, Andrew. Delighted to be here. So, Bob's CV reads like a who's who of, of great consulting businesses uh, with the likes of EY, uh, Accenture, Capgemini, and most recently IBM, uh, where uh, Bob is senior partner. Bob, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing in your career? Uh, yeah, Andrew, delighted to. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I'm currently at IBM, where I've been uh, spending a lot of time doing procurement finance transformation around around AI. But if I go back to the start of my career, um, I started out as a as a, a, a chartered accountant in practice, and then some time in automotive. And then actually, in nine, between '96 and '98, I joined a startup that sort of aggregated. Uh, finance, uh, it, um, hardware, and um, software systems, um, and, and I ran that business operations and finance during a period of really high growth. And then I identified a new bit of technology that was going to change the world. SAP it was going to fully automate finance within five years. So I went. I joined Ernst and Young as a as an SAP consultant, and, and went and did my first project. And then I found out about this thing called B two B, and I did my first. A Reba project and that sort of characteristic of finding new pieces of tech or new operating models then continued throughout. So kind of after six years in procurement and finance consulting, I went to do some time in the utility sector and then actually started um, Capgemini's procurement outsourcing business, again, rolling together cloud technology. I then went to um, from the from there into Accenture to build their procurement outsourcing business. But again, looking at new bits of technology like uh, data and analytics, automation, and rolling that together into integrated transformation programs. And then sort of by 2017, um, I've written some articles in terms of AI topics and at kind of that stage, really kind of conceptual topics. Uh, and I got hired by um, IBM to run their consulting business, but again, focused on procurement, supply chain, finance, and AI. And now at the end of that, um, I've decided it's the right time to sort of bring all those experiences together uh, and, and head off and do something new, something kind of more oriented around my my end-to-end -end sets of skills. So quite a journey there, Bob. Always with finance, procurement, supply chain at the heart of it. It sounds like technology always at the heart of it. Always trying to be there to see what what's next from the sounds of it. And um, you know, what what is next for you then? Yeah, I've um, I've I built a, a a small consulting business. I guess one of the things I didn't talk about um, for the last three years in in IBM, I've been doing research around the topic of AI ethics, yeah? So I've interviewed doctors, professors, people running startups, tech developers, customers, uh, disability campaigners, and I've really sort of got, got excited about the topic of AI ethics. So I've started another little, a little business called AI Ethicals, um, and, uh, my, but my first engagement actually is, is back to the heart of what I do around, around uh, source to pay technology. And I'm gonna join uh, Basware as a, for six months as the interim head of strategy enablement um working with basware to uh, help grow their business uh um work on their partner model and then and then sort of work on some deals um and actually basware felt like a really good choice for me for three reasons right so firstly they're the clear market leaders yeah they dominate the the the, the, the accounts payable automation technology um they do that because they've they've really got great, great coverage in terms of markets and they have really high levels of automation um, and I think it also provides a good, then a good backdrop once you've got uh, accounts payable automated to start to apply AI at scale into your into your procurement footprint. And I guess the, fi the final reason, the third reason is, you know, they've been acquired by Axel KKR and they put a really high quality management team in place, a team of people that I've kind of worked with in the past that I know are going to be successful. So, you know, hopefully on, along the way we can have some some fun as well, right? Yeah, you really just feel like a new era for, for Bass, where I've been doing a little bit of work with them myself, and you, you make a valid point about the new ownership and, and, and the new leadership. And I think there is a, a great solution there, which has got an enormous amount of potential to do more of the business to grow uh, in the coming months. So you must be excited about that, uh, particularly that it's your first sort of gig, if you will, as an external consultant. So it's quite a different emphasis on what you've had historically. And, and, you know, if you've got room to work alongside the Bassware project or what you know, what you would do after that, have you got any thoughts on, on, on where you might go with the other sorts of consulting roles you'd like to do? Yeah, I mean, so um, I, I see, see so me, me and a kind of group of associates doing three things. 
I mean, the, the first thing is is working sort of supply chip, supply side. So working for uh, tech companies, um, the, the likes of Baz, where I've also got one or two small small advisories for other other tech startups. Um, the second thing is kind of back to my heartland again, doing doing uh, technology and AI roadmaps for procurement departments. I think it's kind of you know more important than ever uh, to get the the roadmap clear and right and be and be clear about where you can apply different kinds of AI. And then thirdly, I guess where where I just referred to, I'll also be doing some ethical AI advisory. You know, helping organisations not just in procurement to think about you know how do we make sure that we we apply AI in our organisation in a in a, a, a in a fair manner at scale. Okay, well, that sounds really interesting. You know, wish you the very best of luck with that. And the AI in particular, I think, it is a fascinating uh, subject matter, which we'll talk about in, in the second part of our discussion. Um, you know, which we'll, we'll probably separately, of course. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much, Andrew.